Hi! Uh, some of you might know me from some of my other videos on Define My Style, but if not, my name is Kristen and I am a fashion design major at the University of Cincinnati. Today I want to talk to you about the fashion life cycle as part of our Summer of Style program. Uh, the fashion life cycle is an important tool for students or people in the industry to try and predict what direction they want to go in with their next design. So I'm going to use a specific example to explain it. Uh, of bold colors and if you want to look at the Define My Style fashion life cycle Pinterest board there's a lot of really great examples uh, that might help you follow along as well as a graphical representation of the fashion life cycle as uh, can, that can be a great visual aid. So there are five stages in the life cycle. There is introduction, rise, culmination, uh, decline, and obsolescence. So introduction is when the look first begins to move up the slope. You're starting to see it on runways, in magazines, and on the street. Um, for example, you could look at some of the runway shows like Isabel Marant, uh, spring, summer 2011. Uh, she had a lot of red pants, bright colors, and things like that, and that was when you first started to see it. The second stage is rise, and this is when the look begins to move up the slope and this trend is copied and adopted by the general public. Um, with bold colors, this would be when you first started seeing it at the mall. I mean, you could buy it at Forever 21. It wasn't really widespread, but you know you had some selection. Um, the next stage is culmination. This is when the trend reaches the top of the curve and is considered a major force. This would be when you could get this trend almost anywhere. You know, it wasn't just the fashion forward places like Forever 21. You know, you could go anywhere at all, places that had their basics, and they would have a bold color selection somewhere. You know, you're seeing it on the streets, your friends at school are wearing it. It's just generally becoming accepted. The next step in the life cycle is decline, and this is when the trend is on the descent of the curve. Uh, the look starts to become repetitive, um, potential for sales decreases, stores usually stop buying as much because they're not confident that people are going to purchase it. The final step in the life cycle is obsolescence, and this is general lack of interest. Um, it's when the consumer no longer has the desire to buy that look. I, personal opinion, uh, don't think that we've reached that with bold colors yet. Um, you're still seeing it a lot. and But eventually when you do, it will be, you know, on sale. Um, you're not going to see it as much on the street. You probably won't see it on the runway at all because they'll have moved on to the next trend, that sort of thing. Uh, there are exceptions to this general life cycle. Um, again, if you look on the graph on our Pinterest board, you can see it visually. One example of an exception would be a fad, and that is a trend that just um, is introduced, peaks really quickly, you see it everywhere for a couple weeks, months, and then it's gone. Um, a classic would be the opposite of that, where it is introduced, it rises, and then it just levels out. It never really declines or becomes obsolete. For instance, the little back black dress excuse me, would be a classic, you know, a wardrobe staple. Um, if you want to see more examples of different trends in the life cycle they follow, you can check out that Pinterest board. Uh, we focus on fedora hats, retro glasses, pastels, um, and of course bold colors.